Hi there and welcome to Bustanet. On a show brought to you by One Football App, this is the Kingstonian Diaries. Yes, it's a diffuse challenge and uh, it's my chance to do an LLM safe in England. Um, I always do this challenge and it's one of the more um, <laughs> challenging games that you can get. And uh, well, FM18 is interesting because it's it certainly made things a lot more um you know, there's more to consider when you play an LLM safe. So, in previous editions of uh, the game, you could actually get by using scouting to be one of the major exploits. I mean, it's one of the major exploits in the game. It was in FM17 still. Uh, you will not have an issue finding players for a lower league football. I mean, there is no reason why you can't fill your squad every season with the best players. Not a problem. But now with the new scouting system, um, it's, a, it's a lot tougher. So I keep on having to you know, invite players for trials. And I'm always having, there are always players in who come in for trials. And I'm always on the hunt for players that will enhance my, my side. And we have already, ad, we finally found um, a fullback for the left side. But he's not the best. <laughs> It's a, it's a pity. I wanted something slightly. I wanted someone slightly better. So we managed to get this guy, Christian Scales. He's probably the first fullback I get who can actually cross the ball. <laughs> so that was like, whoa. Okay, we've got somebody who can cross the ball finally. So he's joined the club. He immediately gets valued at eighteen k, and uh, we signed him to a first team contract. Uh, his attributes aren't that bad. Uh, we gotta work on his. Uh, his anticipation, which can improve over time, uh, his acceleration. Basically, uh, we've put him on a training program where he actually starts working on things like um, quickness to improve that attribute. So he goes in, he starts training straight away. So he's the one player I've... I, do I have a player called Jonathan Muleba? Yes, apparently I have a player called Jonathan Muleba in my team. And uh, squad, this is so funny. I didn't even move into my senior squad. I've got another player who's uh, who joined, uh, Kenny Davis. Uh, this this Jonathan Muleba just joined. So I was, I was, uh, I must have totally uh, forgotten about him because I was so focused on needing to uh, basically survive. <laughs> that was uh, we had to come up with a plan. So if you. You remember, we started with Carlisle and Northampton and we drew, lost both these matches. We had a false dawn with the win over Swindon and then after that, I went through a run and then suddenly everything started looking rosy again when we held Wimbledon to a draw. I thought we were on to something. Now, the side was still very weak. So we managed to pull a big win over Coventry 3-1 uh, courtesy of uh, two penalties. This was one of the major turning points. From this point on, after the Newport game, I started changing my strategy. I started, uh, you know, uh, asking myself some hard questions because I can tell you, I made a lot of mistakes. Things I tell people not to do, I would do, right? So, uh, for example, uh, this match, Wickham, I, I, it was on the last show, if you watched it. I mean, I did something crazy. I went overload. You know, I went structured. I had a high defensive line. Things that I shouldn't be doing. I went in there and did, did them anyway. And I paid the price. And um, I, I played badly. We managed to get... Uh, we, we took the lead. Uh, sorry, we equalized. I can't even remember what the game was like. We took the lead and then gave it up. Fell 3-1 behind and came back 3-2. So we had to come up with a, a different plan. So I started you know, uh, tweaking my tactics slightly. And we the more Im most important thing was as the moment we started playing Exeter, we started getting a team together. Coveney is now um, uh, a starter for every single game. We got Sambu in. He's playing the defensive midfield position. Musendo is still an issue for me. I mean, he's okay, but some of the time he makes a lot of mistakes but Ruggeri Ruggeri Musendo is really an important player for the team at the moment because he he fits um he fits a hole that we like 
However, his bravery, balance and determination leave a lot to be desired. This guy, Iran Spice, I don't know if that's the way you pronounce the name, he has been a revelation. We we brought him in. He actually played a big part in this game. He's he's now playing an integral role in our 4-1-3-2. Uh, Kev, Kev, Kenny Davis has joined us. He's a bit on the old, the old side, but I, I, we need some leadership as well. So he fills a void in our side. He's an experienced midfielder. Uh, Tom Derry has returned to the first team because I don't really have a strong player who is decent in the air and is able to hold up the ball and get others involved in play. So Tom Derry returns. Uh, this match, we gave Constantino a chance to play. He he didn't play too badly. Um, and uh, we managed to... Uh, as we managed to hold on to a draw against Exeter, Exeter City. It was a game that we played pretty... Yeah, it was not too bad. I mean, like... The goals that we are scoring right now, they're okay. But I'm going to save the best goal for last. So here, uh, they attacked us. Derry uh, drops. Get Spice in. Well, look at how Spice them. Musendo, Gogonas, Derry back. Gogonas, one long cross. It gets cleared. Then um, they try to build an attack up. Uh, the boys do pretty well. So, so the positioning was pretty good in this match. Uh, Cannon played it out of Hamblin. And then Gogonas from the back, back to the keeper. The keeper plays it to Garnet. Watch what Garnet does. <laughs> right over the top. <laughs> and we went in there. And I was like, yeah, we got one. So we got the early lead, but we couldn't hold on to it. But then this was the match uh, against Barnett. Barnett was a game where everything changed for me. Because um, several things happened for this in this game. The first thing was uh, I'm still having trouble. This was the point where we're still having issues with the left back position. So I'm now retraining Garnett as a left back, and uh, we did okay. Uh, Yanis Constantino again scoring. Um, you know he 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 gets he's be beginning to score goals, and that's good news for us. Long ball, Derry is jumping. He uses his head. Drops in for Constantino. Simple football is th the way we play our game. And then from a throw-in, Constantino to Davis. I mean, this is probably fortuitous. But Spice getting into a goal-scoring uh, position. Uh, this was actually, honestly, the best thing that ever happened to me. I was so happy. Because this was our first home win of the season. After 10 games. It's bloody unbelievable. It took me 10 games to win a home game. But then this was the match. Okay, so I went into this game, Cambridge against Kingstonian. I'm playing my 4 1 3 2, and I decide, okay, fine. Away from home, I've got to be a bit more disciplined. I've got to have that. Uh, the players have got to be disciplined. They've got to hold, stay to their positions. Okay, fine. We did all that and uh, played quite well, actually. Uh, we took the lead through Rogeri, Rugari, Musendo. I think this was. Uh, this. I can't, I can't remember how this goal was scored, but I think it was from a throw-in scale to so Spice, Spice to Davis, Davis to Sambo, and Musendo smashing it home. I think this, this goal looks very familiar, doesn't it? And then the second goal, now this, this second goal was a beauty. Tom Derry, and we have to watch this. Uh, I want to watch this in on TV mode. Okay, so... So Besson plays the ball up. Derry hits it down. Sambo to Spice. Look at what Spice does. Musendo, Derry. Look at what he does. Because I add a move into channels, right? Check him's channel running. Boom! And he gets in. It's right through the middle. And we finally do one of those goals that uh, used to be a trademark. I mean, that's how I score most of my goals in the game. Because... Two of my favorite tactics, the four one three two and the four three one two, and we finally became we finally became rich. Uh, we finally got two wins on the trot. So our first home win, and then our away record isn't that bad. We have won one, two, three away matches. Uh, away from home, we haven't we have lost the uh, we don't have a unbeaten home or away record. So we've lost once, we've lost both ways. Uh, but what that has done for us is it's moved us up. How have we done this? I mean, how have we managed to get these two wins? Essentially, I've been more defensive, right? So far, I haven't... I mean, I haven't had a lot of wide systems. So we've been lucky. So I don't know what's going to happen if we face a wide system. 
some theories in my head and uh, we are looking to you know set up set the team up for our next match so and um, I just the reason why I'm laughing <laughs> laughing to myself is because I know what I need to I, I have a rough idea that we are about to is there a coffin somewhere that my team should be booking? Because control fluid, target man, deep line forward, defensive forward, we've got advanced playmaker here, punching to the middle. We've got two wing backs bombing down the flanks. We've got defensive centre back looking for balls over the top. Basically, if I defend, I'm I'm toast. I am so screwed if I defend. So the question is we have this system that we use for our results. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it. We're going to go standard. We're going to go structured, right? I'm going to turn this guy into a ball-winning midfielder. I'm going to turn this guy into a ball-winning midfielder. And I'm going to turn this guy into a wing-back on a tank. I'm going to turn this guy into a wing-back on a tank. Go forth, conquer. I hope this works. Because in my head, this is what's, what's going on in my head at the moment, right? So, okay. Um... We're going to reduce the tempo. We're going to drop this. We're going to pass into space. Okay, so... In my head, the how the game plays out is they've got these three strikers bombing forward, attacking. And they're going to have two complete wing backs. Now, if I sit back and defend, those complete wing backs are going to be in my half. Then I'm basically creating 2v1. So plenty of happy, happy crossing opportunities. Now, if I sit back and defend all the way, then that's what's going to happen. What if I come out and attack? Then I put pressure on the wing backs. That's one, that's one way of looking at it. So I know it's not ideal. I mean, I, probably we still get hammered, but at least we get hammered fighting the fight. You know, we, 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 we didn't go down. We did not give up. Yeah, so I'm putting Goldberg and Penfold left. Spice, Musendo, Davis, Sambu, Johnson, Garnett, Kovni. I've gone with Garnett instead of of uh, Odofin, which is, I mean, a bit of a risk, actually. But Odofin is going to be on the bench. But I want Garnett because Garnett has got better positioning. Uh, it's, but I still, I'm still asking myself the question because they got a target, man. But seriously, if if we end up in a situation where the target man is dictating play, then we are in trouble anyway. So why the hell should I worry? So here we go. We'll speed up the highlights because this is going to be a quick match. I'm going to lose 5 nil, and that will be the end of it. <laughs> so, oh, we're in their half. That's a good sign. Johnson to Spice to Sabu. But it's also, it's also bad news for us because if... <laughs> And this is what's going to happen. The transition is going to happen and they're going to get away and they're going to get near the box and they're going to cross. Ooh. But it goes straight to our keeper. So, yeah. We have to... We have... Okay, we have to be optimistic. We have to try our best. Goldberg. Can't get to it. Uh, call kit. To, oh, yes. There's one thing I did not do. No wonder. There's a slight difference. I need to push you further. Okay, you get up there. You get further forward. So, you can put some pressure on their back line. Oh, man. Mistake. This could be... This could be disastrous. Yes, we're a goal down. Damn it. Oh, mistake. At the start of the match, I realized that would have to be one of the things I needed to do. But it's okay. I mean, I don't expect us to win. So, uh, I believe this is the way I should be playing it anyway. So, let's go for it. Wingbacks bombing down the flank against their complete wingbacks. So, at least my wing backs will be high enough to support my midfielders. Possession numbers are doing okay. Passes uh, completed from defense are not bad. So 67% passes in midfield also pretty good at 70%. It's not that bad. We're doing all right. And the numbers are showing that we are we're doing okay in terms of fighting the fight, right? So keep it up, boys. 66% completion rate, 60 over percent from passes from the defenders to midfield. That's not too bad. Muleba to Spice Boy to Johnson. Oh, Johnson is in a dangerous position. Crosses, Ben Goldberg. Yes! Goldberg scores the equalizer. 
Ooh, I want to watch the highlight of us scoring. Johnson free. This is what's going to happen when you have complete wing backs in a rather uh, country. Uh, because the complete, they are complete wing backs. The system is playing on control, right? So they are going to be a bit more aggressive when it comes to closing down. So I can expect them to give us some space. But we also have our own issues as well. Penalty. Oh man. Okay, I, we're gonna lose, right? So let's have fun. Riley, save this. Oh no. Doesn't it's two one. Crew two. Kingstonian one. But it's a it's a decent fight. I'm making a fight of this, so it's so not too bad. Okay, Edison Garnett is the light I brought him on for this match and he's screwing things up. Six point one. So you're gonna have to go. Neil Odofin will have to come on in the second half. Sheesh. Looks like I made a bad move with uh, Garnett. Tilly to Songo. Songo to Tilly. Johnson reads that brilliantly. Rosler. Riley. Back to Rosler. To Griffiths. Griffiths to Riley. Riley out to OK. They're doing OK. Kovny looks for the counter. Yes! That's why Spice had to get further forward. Damn it. Oh, this is good work. Muleba. Oh, his cross wasn't good. See, damn, my, my mistake at the start of the damn game could have cost us because it's it's a small little thing, but it, it plays such a big role. I mean, big part of how we're supposed to attack. It's okay. It's all right. Shit happens. Passes from defense now, not doing so well. 52 because yeah I suspect it's got to do with Odofin as well Odofin isn't very good at passing the ball compared to um, Garnett Garnett is much better Kenny Davis is 6.4 okay hold on a minute there um, Musendo will come here now to Davis to Penfo ooh ooh come on Muleba wins that but oh, not enough on it Muleba is running back like a mad and it's a third goal from ah, crew. Yeah, it's, it's a good goal. I mean, we do expect goals like that to happen in this game. Tilney. Guy. Davis does well. Oh, Kovny. Out he goes to Penfold. Penfold. What a pass of Goldberg. Goldberg cannot finish that, but still, it was a good performance. I mean, I mean, three-one. We just needed that one, just a few more, just a bit more speed in one of my players would have been enough. Spice, small little things here. It's just, it's not a, it's not a major thing, but small little things here and there could have helped us out. But uh, not happy with their performance. We lost to Crew 3-1. And, uh, yeah, this was what I, would have been how I played my 4-1-3-2 my against uh, Superior, uh, a team that is playing a 4-3-3. But Crew, well, no, they played well. They had, the, they, had the, they had the players as well. I mean, look at some, I mean, their players are all a lot better than our players. Composure 12-16. For a central defender. My, my central defender's composure is like 8. <laughs> and uh, Kovny. Kovny is 9. <laughs> yeah, they're young. they got a player on low from Burnmouth. Man, I, I wish I could. I tried loaning players, but nobody wanted to come. So, a lot of these teams, a lot of these clubs have players on loan. I tried to get... Uh, an affiliate club, but uh, my board looked at, laughed it off as a as a funny joke. <laughs> and now we have to do our best. I mean, um, can I make it into the promotion playoff spots? Normally, there are three spots here now that will get uh, promoted. So I'm I'm cautiously seven points is only the gap. So we we can if we can put together a string of results. I'm still trialing players. <laughs> They're still coming in. I'm still going to the scouting center. I'm still doing this offer trial, offer trial. 
Yeah, we're still looking. I'm, I will not stop looking. And uh, finances, we are clo we are already busting the budget already. So I'm going to, I can't make a wage adjustment, nothing, but we will look out for players. And if I can uh, find them, that'll be, that'll be good. But um, I don't know if I can sign any more. This, or maybe these will be the ones that I have to keep. But Joe Hanks, the absence of Joe Hanks is actually telling. Uh, he was not too bad. And then, uh, well, I am a bit disappointed at losing the crew, Alexandra, but still, I know the team did okay. And uh, it's going to be a tough, tough, tough little journey up this table. We're already 12 games in. Kingstonians to have lost three games already. We have uh, drawn five times. We've won four. If we can start pulling together a few more draws, then I, I could see myself pushing ourselves up. We're only seven points away from... Eight points away from the top of the table. And we are ten points away from the bottom of the table. So, not doing too badly. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Kingstonian Diaries. The next time I'm here, we'll probably be halfway through the season. And if you have any questions, please click me on my Twitter at Bustanet or addicted to fm.com my website. Once again, I'd like to thank all my patrons for the continued support of this channel. You guys take care, have a good one, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.